Hey guys, welcome back. And this is a big one. All right, so we have picked up another piece of gold and one ounce piece of gold. So I will be showing you that and comparing it with some of the gold um, which I already have. But you can see a little spinning thing here. That's what we're going to talk about. So that, my friends, is the wonky Britannia. Yep, there was only a few found and it was a raw mint error. But this is a big one and I got one. And here's a quick glimpse and we shall get back to it. If you can notice what's wrong with it, you'll understand. And if you know, you know. So guys, welcome to Cobra Stacker and we're back and the gold is out again. So today I received a couple of coins from Backyard Bullion, who I'm sure you all know. Uh, one is just a straight up Queen's Beast gold, one ounce, white line of Mortimer. Now, an exceptionally beautiful coin. And I may try and build up the collection that I have of the Queen Beast in one ounce gold, bit by bit. Um, but that's gonna be a slow process and trying to get them at the right price. Um, but that was the first one that came in. But I did wanna show you the comparison uh, and I know this isn't the, the white line of Mortimer, but it is the line of England from the Tudor Beast. So if you were to look at the two of these, which one do you actually think is better? Let me know in the comments below. Now, I personally really do like the white line of Mortimer. I like the background on it. But when you actually look at the Tudor Beast one, which I didn't think before I saw this properly, was better um i actually do think it's better it is a bigger lion uh the background is different uh more of a security thing there as well um so i actually prefer the lion of england to the white lion of mortimer and as i say you can't really compare the two they are two different lions but this lion looks a little bit skinny compared to a bit more of a beefy lion there. And the shield has better patterning on it. So yeah, that's my opinion on that one. But here's the big one, guys. The 2023 Britannia QE2. But this is the error. The Royal Mint made an error. Now, no one knew that this error had been made until a gentleman sent Backyard Bullion uh, 22, I believe, of these coins. And Backyard Bullion said, mm-hmm, we might have a problem here. And he actually went to the Royal Mint and had them verified as they were original, they were proper, and it was a genuine Royal Mint error. Now that in itself is a major deal. But what makes it even bigger is how many there are. Now, I had a good chat with Backyard Bullion about this and it looks like there could be no more than 300. But as up till now, I believe only 30 odd or 32 have come to light and 10 are not confirmed as such, but by Backyard Bullion's word, he knows the person and believes it to be real. 22 of them are held by Backyard Bullion uh, and he has put, this one went up on auction on the Silver Forum, which I got. And a couple have gone up on eBay uh, and have sold for quite an amount, really. Um, I'm hoping to pick up another few. And Backyard Bullion was very kind to let me have my first one um, to do this video. And then I'm going to send it back to him. And I'm sending it back for grading in America. Uh, because I do believe we're not going to see very many of these and they are going to be worth a fair amount. Now we have seen error coins before and they have gone for quite a substantial amount. Uh, but one of the other Britannias uh, on King Charles had a honeycomb error where the die had double pressed um, and it caused a honeycomb effect around the edge and around the ear 
of King Charles, sorry, King Charles uh, ear and the edge of the coin had a honeycomb effect. But this is a substantial error. And what seems to have happened is that the bottom die has rotated in some way by 45 degrees. Is it 45 degrees or 90? 90 degrees, um, which is a massive error. So the coin in itself is perfect. And as you see on the front there, that's upright and it comes round with a 90 degree rotation on the queen's head. A massive error with an unknown amount of coins out there. And as I say, very few have been found so far. Now, just to demonstrate to our friends uh, in the United States, your coins, often like the buffalo here, when you rotate it, it's actually 180 degrees to get the other side the right way round. So literally turn it 180 degrees and the buffalo is the correct way round. But on our coins, so this is a normal Britannia, but obviously a gold one, we literally have it the same way up. So there's King Charles, spin it round, and there's the Britannia. So they are the same way up on either side of the coin. So for us to have the coin that I've got, which has a 90 degree rotation, is very rare. Very, very rare indeed. Um, I know one of these uh, out of the set that Backyard Bullion had has been sold and is shipping its way over to America. Um, I know quite a few of the other ones will be graded. My one here will definitely be graded. And as I say, if I can negotiate to get a couple more, then I will have them graded as well. Um, the minute I saw these on Back Backyard Bullion's channel, um, I immediately sent a message saying I wanted one. Um, he was very fair and put it on auction for everyone to have the ability to get it, which I appreciate. Otherwise, I'm sure there would have been a few people who would have had money and would have just grabbed it. Um, and I was lucky enough to win an auction and get this coin. How far up the price of these will go? I don't know. How long it will last at a high price? Will it sort of people pay for it right now because it's new and it's out there and the price is really high? Uh, and then you could find that it drops and people just aren't interested anymore. I don't know. Um, or it could be something that as the collectors grab hold of one each or maybe a couple each, um, less and less these are available on the market and the price could shoot up. Nobody knows, but I... I am very lucky to have at least one of these in my collection, which will stay in my collection for a very substantial amount of time. I think it's very special. It's the last Queen's Head. Um, it is a 2023 coin. And obviously we lost our Queen in 2022. Um, so there's already that anomaly where they had uh, pressed a load of these in 2022, ready to be released. Obviously not knowing that we were gonna lose our Queen. Um, therefore, we have that side of it, but again, that 90 de degree re rotation is phenomenal. And so, just for your viewing, we have a double eagle at the back there, a maple, the buffalo with the Indian head on the reverse, the kangaroo, which is currently one of my favourite gold coins, um, the Lion of England, Yale of Beaufort, and of course the new one, the white line of Mortimer from the Queen's Beast. At the back there we have a Ford de Cap, another Maple, Britannia's King's Head and Queen's Head, another Britannia, and another Maple. And then our beautiful sovereigns all lined up there. And then I started picking up the Court Rounds Tudor Beast and a Court Rounds Britannia. And then the very, very, very small Year of the Tiger there, one tenth. And then of course, if you saw the previous videos, the two Indian coins, which unfortunately 
aren't the most beautiful, but still 10 grams each of 24 karat gold. So, there you go guys. That's the gold. And that's the silver. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a real pleaser for me. I'm very, very chuffed to have this coin. Thank you to Backyard Bullion. You should all know him, but if you don't, go over to his channel. Absolutely impressive stuff. The guy knows his business. And there will be some silver bits from me going over to Backyard Bullion because he also sells for customers uh, to give a good rate to the person selling and a good rate to the customer buying. So Backyard Brilliant, keep an eye on him um, and you will see a load of silver and gold coming up on his channel for sale. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. There is gonna be loads more coming from me. We're trying to get our numbers up and don't forget the giveaway of 10 ounces of silver uh, when we hit 500 subscribers. So more when we get closer to that number. But right now I'm gonna leave you enjoying this beautiful Mint Era Britannia with a 90 degree, or as Backyard Bullion calls it, the wonky coin. See you later.